it made me very hungry and it made me really miss WD-50 in Wiley. <laughs> Here. We're outside of the Lyceum Theater about to see Fully Committed starring Jesse Tyler Ferguson whose name is above the title. Which is a big deal. Legally, if he is not in the show, you can get a refund. Jesse Tyler Ferguson you might know best as being one of the um, homosexuals on Modern Family. Now at first I thought this was a one-man stand-up show. I was like, kind of hoping it is. It's an older play. It's a one-man show oh. about a guy who used to work at a very high-end restaurant. Oh. Think Per Se, think Danielle, think okay. La Bernadette. And it's all about what it takes to get a reservation because they were fully committed, perhaps. This will be a nice antidote to uh, American Psycho. This is a show in which somebody actually does get a reservation to an exclusive place. He works at Dorcia. We'll see you at the 90, after the 90 minute show, fully committed. And we I are, like that. We it's, are, it's, it's quick, it's light. I thought that this was a show about gay marriage. No, not yet. Well, the show's out. It's less than 90 minutes, actually. Real brief. It's one of the 10 most produced plays in America. It premiered in 1999 at the Vineyard Theater, so they must have updated. There's references to 11 Madison Park, Gwyneth Paltrow. Well, Gwyneth Paltrow was around in 99. Oh, but she was just a babe, wasn't she? This story is essentially the back of house madness behind the scenes of a high-priced restaurant frequented by high-powered people and the sort of hell that the workers behind the scenes get put through. Jesse does a lot of different characters. I started keeping track, but at one point I lost track. So he does it not only vocally, but also physically. I feel as though Jesse might have bit off a little more than he could chew. Some of those characters are more successful than, than some of the others. Sam, the character that Jesse plays, has a tedious job. And this show emulates that tedium a bit too well at point. As an audience member, I was worn out after two thirds. The restaurant that we never see is a molecular gastronomy restaurant, a cuisine which is often critiqued for being high on concept but low on content, which I feel is a critique that I could levy legitimately against this show. The set design was interesting. I didn't like it at first, but it kind of grew on me. Same. Overall, I gotta say, not unlike the neophyte to the molecular gastronomy restaurant for the first time. Wow, that was sort of interesting, but it left me wanting more. Yellow, Yellow light, light for fully committed at the Lyceum Theater. I